So I saw a couple charges on my credit card, my account, and I thought, what was that for? And then I forgot that I had a subscription to the U.S. Mint for a particular coin series, or at least a coin release. So I received the coins in the mail. I know what the coins are, but I wanted to open it up uh, in a video. Let everybody share it as I open them up and take a look. And let's just see if the Mint has improved their packaging or not. So my name is Daniel. You're watching Coin Help You. Thanks for watching my latest video. You know, first I want to let everyone know that coinauctionshelp.com, it's not an auction site. It's It was started out as helping people who bid on auctions and buy coins from eBay and other places online. I started this back in 2007 after years of, of learning the ins and outs of exactly how people are online, realizing that they're not always on the up and up. But I do have coin grading company database, a coin help you community for free. I have gold coin values. I have coin quizzes, mint error guides and images, coin photo grade, and a bunch of articles over here to help you out with coins in general. I mean, you can do a search. You can go to the homepage. You can buy coins from us. And if you click the buy coins from us, it will take you over to PortsmouthCoinShop.com, which is our website for the coin shop where you can buy coins from us. And we're always putting coins up every day and we have auctions running. So check out PortsmouthCoinShop.com. For now, let's open up these boxes. And I was excited about this series, but after last year, with the price hikes and they made so many of them they're just not worth what the 2021s are so it looks like to me they have not improved any packaging on these the same boring boxes although they're lighter they're not as black as they were like a dark blue looks like to me a real dark navy blue I don't hear anything rattling around. We've got it's the 2024 Morgan dollar. This is the Philadelphia Mint. Still 99.9% .9 silver, but they only have 0.859 troy ounces. Well, they do have a little different. Okay, so they did improve this. So it comes in a different case. And here is the coin. So they did change the cases. They improved a little bit here. And they fit them in here so hard that you can't hardly get them out. That looks like a really nice coin, but it's the same finish. Nothing different. Nothing's changed. I mean, they could have put a P-Mint mark on them just to be different for 2024. So they'll probably make a bunch of these. And I received... So there's three in the box at $270 a piece, $91 each. I believe last year was $76. So yeah, the prices did go up. So that was the Morgan, and I think the next box might be more Morgans or Peace. I'm not sure. Hopefully it's the Peace, and we can take a look at those. But other than a different date, probably not going to be anything different. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's the Peace. So I got some Peace, and I got some uh, Morgans for 2024. So we'll go ahead and take a look at these. This is basically just a share. I know it's not. Anybody can order these now. They're not anything as special as they were. I hate to be like that about it, but it just got to that point. But it is, I'll tell you, the peace dollars to me are the best out of the bunch. They're just, they're just nice. This, the design is the closest that you'll get. It just looks a little bit, I don't know. And they, I think in some senses, it's a, an improvement. The finish, not so much, but I like the way they did the design on it, on this. The Morgan dollars, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm such a Morgan dollar nut that I just, I, I like the way they were, and I think they should be created the way they were. I know a lot of people don't understand what I've said uh, last time I did a video on that, but I'll reiterate this. I'll say it again. I think the U.S. Mint needs to create the dies like they did in the past. So that they have the same finish that they did originally. At least some version of that. And then I think they should start out with proof-like or dimple dies. And then let those dies wear down. Strike them 100,000. And be done with it. That way, even though they're going to have a high enough mintage where everybody can have one. Not everybody's going to get the dimples. 
not everybody's going to get the proof likes. And then sometimes they're going to, and then it'll create VAMs or at least die stages where you're going to have die cracks and chips and maybe even allow a clash to happen. Because that's what's fun about Morgan Dollars is finding the varieties, finding the proof likes, finding the dimples, finding the, the nicer versions of them. I think that would spark a huge interest in collecting these piece and Morgan Dollars because you never know when you open that package what you're going to get. And those dimples would be worth a lot more than the ones that were late die stages. But yet the late die stages would have some character because they would have some imperfections, at least from the mint. Not imperfections that would take away from the grade, but just little things like die cracks and die chips and maybe a clash, you know, a little bit of die wears and die file or die striations, just little things like that. That's what makes Morgan so much fun and makes Morgan so interesting and beautiful, besides the fact that they're older and they were they have a history to them as well. But there are other factors when you're looking at them. Just the finishes can be different for each mint. I, I just wish the U.S. Mint would do that. They can still make as many as they want, but let's make them different. Start off with different dies the way they used to be made. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm not saying they should, you know, make them ugly. I'm saying they should make them like they originally did. They can use the same techniques, but just finish those dies the same way and let those dies wear down. Don't try to put out a product that is near 70, 69 and 70. Almost every one of these are 69 or 70. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.